What's going on, everybody? Patty Pockets 25 here, and today we're going to be playing a little bit of uh, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. Looks looks pretty good. Uh, I'm here with Dan. Say hi, Dan. What's going on? Uh, he's going to be uh, taking the wheel today, and he's going to be playing uh, some good old Freddy Fazbear Pizza Simulator. So go ahead, Dan. All right. Fuse Bear. Start her up. So you got to design your pizza. Alright. Oh boy. We're making. I already know what we're making. What are we making? Supreme. Right there it is. <laughs> Alright. Head on over to that pizzeria. Oh boy. Oh. Alright, let's get this. Let's shift. You gotta throw them at the children. Alright, eat this. There you go. And this is pretty much the game right here. Eat that. Chillin'. You got it. Round two, here we go. More children. Feed them. Feed them chillin'. These little cichlids didn't know what was coming. Nice, nice. Oh, no. Freddy's turd bear. Yeah, you gotta watch. Sticky keys. Oh, no, not sticky keys. That's probably that black one that did it. Just don't don't spam too much. It's probably because of the, the fucking Fred bear. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He did He's it. over there giving us sticky keys. He thought. There we go, there we go. Uh-huh. God damn it. Oh, there's a, there's Let's a, try and fix this here. You don't want us sticking feeding those kids. No. Okay, now. This is it. Alright, slow them down by feeding them one, I think. No, there's just something I made up in my head, I suppose. It looks like, yeah, it does. It works. But I stopped them at the wrong spot. Maybe, like, bring them to the bottom. Yeah. And. Come on down here. Eat, eat them. Yeah. Turd. There you go. And we still getting a stick. Oh. Dan, the game's glitching. Um. Sticky keys? It was probably because of the sticky keys, actually. Fucking sticky keys. Okay, so. If you haven't figured it out already, this is pretty much FNAF 6. Well, alright. So, uh, go ahead. Um, oh, boy. It's just looking at me. Well, do what you do in all the other FNAFs. You gotta look down. You gotta use your mouse. Oh, wait. Oh. Begin tape. Leaving dead space. The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions following audio stimuli. If you are playing this tape, that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph 4. Follow these instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Upon sealing the room, you are not to return. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. So you gotta listen, see if Circus Baby there does anything, and you gotta check a box on your uh, your paper there. Document results. Okay, go down. Begin yes or no? Prompt in three, two, one. First one. Uh, Click it. There no. you go. Nothing. This thing sucks. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Here it comes. Do something. The 
singing. Whoa. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Uh oh. No. Oh, it looked. It looked. I was just about to hit yes. It looked at us. It looked at the screen. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Take your career into your own hands. Wait a minute. You've saved money your This is it. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's well, all right. Restaurant ownership and management. Something I don't almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. Nothing to lose, but college to lose. Well, if everyone's doing it, then I guess we have to. Of course. That's what all the cool kids are doing. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as Some a Fazbear tips. Entertainment franchisee. That'll help. Such as atmosphere. Making sure your establishment... <laughs> hey, the cheese is real. Is <laughs> you gotta make sure the cheese is so real. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. You know, just don't Bonus get the front of your head bit off. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket ready for reinvestment health and safety there may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality and we don't blame okay. you cutting corners is just good business as we all know steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it and that brings us to liability i ain't about being to get a sued the shopper is smart but be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. My question course, is, that would why is, is there a problem there of things hiding trying to get in for months now. inside but of the stuff you buy? The why is that making its way it's into this the amount of help we're promotional to provide. video? Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's No, that's pizza. the face of Freddy Fazbear. Wear that smile with pride, and let's make some money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. Of course. Mm -hmm. Obviously. Alright, uh... You good? Yeah, I'm fine. You just throw up a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you're, you're, you're making a restaurant. You're having your own Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, use a catalog mode to purchase creatures. Use blueprint. Yeah, I'm ready. Down there in the corner. Uh -huh. let's, let's get, get let's, started. Let's do this. It's day one. Let's mm, see how know. much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great. That should be more oh than my. enough. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. Okay. Obviously so, a paper. Well, yeah. So what you have is you have revenue, you got your health and safety, entertainment, and bonus, or in the, the atmosphere. Um, so I know a little bit about this. I'm going to let you go through and pick what you want. Uh, if you want to check out blueprint mode a while, get a good bearing of what the what you can come back. This is what your restaurant looks like, so you can use Wazda to move around. You got a little restaurant, and you can upgrade it. Let's see, well, this is all we need right here. These paper, just plates. the paper pals. Yeah. First, 
says you have a risk of three. I don't know why. <laughs> That'll get me. Well, let's start. No, 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 no. Oh. Go keep keep buying some stuff. See what I'm... Now... I'll buy this little Creighton right here that dances. Um... Now, some, like, different games. So, see, like, some of them have, like, a liability risk. Like, that one has a liability risk of one. Yeah. So, you got the Paper Pals, which that gives you some atmosphere. I say you should probably get one of the animatronics. Might want to get a stage. Actually, get a game. Because you can actually play the games. A game. Get the Duck Pond. Oh, yeah. There's a fan, too. 45 bucks. Really? We're losing money not buying it. Yeah. You're gonna need a stage before you get an animatronic. Can we go look at some of the stages? Well, I'm losing money not buying this. Well, that's 75 for the double stage. If you play the oh. game, go ahead, go back to blueprint mode. If you play some of the game, like you can place them down wherever those little spaces are there. Perfect. And now you can play it. You got ten Faz tokens, or ten tokens up there in the corner, you see. And you, there's also a sponsorship offer. Yeah, let's get that. So let's read this here. Oh, okay. <laughs> now uh, you, you're, you're sponsored. You actually got 300 bucks for that. So that's enough to go buy your double stage if you want it. Oh, is that my sponsorship? Yeah, you got fun, fizzy, fizzy time pop soda. Rick Shaw McGraw. Or you can play some, some Duck Pond. I'm going to do that. All right. It's this one, obviously. Oh, yeah, 100 points. I know it. That one, too. There you go. Uh, this one's pretty good. 300 points! I'm done, you know, I always know which ones to pick. That's what you're looking for. Well, Alright, 300 bucks. Uh, well, no, not that wasn't money. That was just the rating of your restaurant. You can play again. Try and get some, some more points. Well, clearly it's this one. Yep, yep. This one. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, the one. This one right here. There you go. It, it's always those ones. 300 points. There you go. Uh -huh. 675 points. It's this one here. That one right there, as usual. Maybe and that bottom one there? This one? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. That's the one. That's yeah, that's good. that's the right duck. Obviously, there's never a there's never a wrong duck. No. Oh oh, you're almost at a thousand. Well, this is gonna be the one that does it. It's you, you, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and this one right here. Yeah, there it was. Yep. <laughs> that is what you're looking for. So. Oh, my, oh there oh, you got I some money. I got flash with cash. Oh, don't don't. Well, you can go buy an animatronic now if you want them. Okay. You can buy the balloon barrel, too. Don't forget about that. There is a balloon barrel. Am I supposed to get it? No. No, <laughs> you don't <laughs> have to. It's up to you. Alright. So you were looking at that double stage. Well, you have yeah. enough for that now. Oh! Stan's budget Ooh. tech opened up if you want to go take a look in there. Stan has got it all. This already beats the shit out of what was going on in the last... Oh! Losing money, that, not buying That it. is 200. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at there. There we go. There's Happy Frog. Uh, we know the whole cast, of course. Happy yeah. Frog. I, I remember from the original one, Happy Frog was... Yes, he was a very prominent character <laughs> in the original Five Nights at Freddy's game. Scared the shit out of me. Uh, we can also not forget uh, Mr. Hippo. Oh, yes, of course. That's Bonnie. Um, uh, we have Ned Bear. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Oh, uh, these are... Okay. <laughs> There is Ned Bear. There is Ned Bear. Uh, it looks like he has eyes in his mouth. Like like those pictures where you see the people with the masks on, <laughs> but they have the eyes like coming out of the mouth. It just makes it that much more terrifying. Yeah. It's just... Oh, oh Pig Patch. Of course. Favorite, favorite character. Yeah. He's got the one blue and the one green eye. Pigs yeah. are very well known for their differently colored eyes. Of course, of course. Uh, oh, ah, yes. the Candy Cadet. Candy Cadet. I always remembered Candy Cadet. A uh, favorite character yeah. by mo by many. I think he used to be on that show for kids, too. You know, he'd run around, but he was yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if you go back to Dumpster Diver Weekly, 
We do have some animatronics in there, too. I don't like the way that vacuum cleaner was looking at me. Well, I mean... You can take a... There's Bucket Bob. <laughs> to ten bucks. <laughs> Mr. Can Do. Mr. Ho oh. <laughs> you getting them all? <laughs> now we are ready. Let's take a look at what we have. So you got the double stage, so you can get two animatronics up there. He's no risk. You can just put them on up there. Uh, we we have yeah, Mr. Can Do. These there. are the ones. Yeah. <laughs> They're jamming. That is what I'm here for. All right. It still says you have a risk level of three. It's got to be the paper. Maybe well, maybe add the fan. Paper boy. If you buy the fan, you don't see you have some atmosphere. You have four to your entertainment. You have one to your revenue, but so you don't have any health and safety. Well, maybe like some cups and plates. Put them out on the table. This is pretty safe, right? That's a yeah. That that gives you three health and safety. I don't know. But maybe grab grab some paper cups. You know what are people gonna be eating? We are not cheap enough though. I was thinking about like since well, the beginning. Well, Stan's had something. Stan's had like foil stuff. There you go. Fifty bucks, easy. Yo, what what kind of party are we planning for? Oh, oh well. Midnight motorist. You do have a hundred twenty dollars left. Well, that's clearly midnight club. Yeah. This is what we're needing. Play some, play some duck game. You might get some more, some more, some more money for playing the duck game. Oh yeah. Wait, do okay. Now you have your liability is now gone. I should have been liable. It's this one. Five hundred points. I there it was. It. That was the right one. You picked the correct duck. As as always. Of course. Of course. <laughs> and you know. They think that they're, they're gonna be slick about it, but in real reality, you always pick the one to the direct next to it. See? Yeah, that and, was the right one. And then this one right here. And of course. <laughs> so, 700 points. That's how you. That's how you do it. I'm betting you're gonna get a hundred more dollars right now. Yeah, See there that? it was. That's how you know. So you have 220 dollars now. So if you did want that gumball machine, I did not. Oh. <laughs> did, well, if you see here, you can add a coin slot to that, which will increase your Ooh. revenue. Because, then, you know. Let's clean and polish it. Okay. Yeah, let's do that once. Oh, you got some atmosphere now? Yeah. That's this one. Okay. This yeah, one. that's the right one. And, Perfect. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one's, like, you know, giving me the evil eye for a good reason. So, there it was. I think that was the right one. Definitely right. Oh, look at all those cool plates. And... Yeah. Is there anything else out of the catalog you want to get before we start the day? Uh, hold on. You do have 170 bucks now. It was... Not the freedom trial. Oh. That's, that's, you just get that out of there. You, you see that little arrow key right there? You scoop, yeah, move there. Get out of here. Back into the game, we're back. Yeah. It's good. Not the freedom trial at hey, all. Hey, Pokes 25 here. <clears throat> Was it Happy Frog? That's more expensive than uh, Hippo. <laughs> but what about Ned Bear? Ned Bear's wait. He's yeah, pretty he's, expensive. He's the most. And there's also Pig Patch. What about the Candy Cadet? Uh, oh boy, he's pretty expensive. Well, I mean, Mr. Candu and the Pan Man up there, they're they're. They're doing good. Dude, they're like the most iconic. As we all know, the iconic crew. <laughs> of Can Man and Buckethead. Yeah. So, uh, Cuphead. <laughs> Cuphead. <laughs> we are actually playing Cuphead. <laughs> That's... This is a Cuphead playthrough. It is. So is that all you, you want to do for today? Or you want to... You have four tokens left. Can yeah. You... It's this one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this one. <laughs> and this one's wrong. No, that's right. Oh, yeah. There you go, 300 points. That one. You are making progress. There's a reason why they call me the guy that plays the duck game and gets 100 ducks. That's right. Never wrong. 
No. Oh, 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 oh. That's clearly this one then. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know what? It's always this one. There it was. 700 points. As usual. Watch, $100 right now. I can guarantee you. There it was. Mm. Wonderful. Well, Grand, time to... Buy, buy the balloon barrel. Because, oh boy. listen, the one thing that you're not getting right now is revenue. I'm losing money not buying it. So if you get that right there, boom. Money. Let's get... Let's get it. Okay. Let's fucking get it. Did we put it down? Yeah, put it right in the corner over there. Dude, they love balloon barrels right next to ducks. Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. So. Uh, and look, you can even play that. Here we go. As usual. Get ready. Press space. 250 points. There it was. Well, all right. You won. Dude, that one. You got one more token. I'm playing that balloon game. Here we go. Hang on, hang on. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. There it was. I didn't know I was supposed to wait. No, I don't. I didn't think you were supposed to wait either. Oh. Hundred, hundred points. Polish that up. Give it a coin slot. Yeah. Dude, I just... Now you plus one to your revenue. That's... You have four revenue coming in. That's pretty good. Alright. Well, you know, you got your establishment pretty well done. Six atmosphere. Health and safety is five. Entertainment value is five. And revenue four. This is good. I think you should finish. Finish yeah. down there in the corner. And you even got a sponsorship. So now we gotta play some noise or something? Yeah. Okay. Now, now you're gonna do some other stuff. Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome. Okay. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. Of course you not. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash. So don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. How the likely are you to be recommended or recommend Windows 10 to a friend? Well, not right now, my friend. Now, <laughs> onto other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system right here. and your terminal That's are the one. Loud yes. And may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, it's like a bug if flying around the room. Be in the vents, you have a few tools it's gonna need to get catapulted. to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of <laughs> Hey, that's an ad for your fizz time pop. That's good. Into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an mm -hmm. audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. And the iron mind, cross. However, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. Great. So order order all your stuff up. Oh, you have to do one oh. at a time. Yeah, I use that dial-up internet. Oh, yes. So obviously this is uh, set in 2017, when we still use dial-up. So, this is what you do during the day while kids are eating pizza. Huh? You got your motion detector. You want to turn that on and make sure nothing's coming in the room at you. Yeah, let's get that on. Is it on? Yeah, it's scanning. You know, I always remembered ordering napkins and utensils. Yeah, you can look left to right, and it's looking into the vents. Well, Pennywise is over here, so. And, um, you can turn your fan off with X, and also you can turn your monitor off with Z if you feel like there's monsters coming in the room. However, down there in the corner, it gets real hot in there, so you might want to turn that back on, actually. Uh -huh. There is silent ventilation you can turn on. Uh, you still get a little bit, you still get hot, but not as fast. Let's see. I don't think you. I don't think you have to worry too much. I don't think Mr. Can Do is gonna be coming in the room at you. It's just a balloon tied to a trash can. So. Oh. Uh, I thought he was real. 
Yeah. He is. So you still got a bunch of stuff to do. Well, it look oh. You got yeah. Prince of Flyers. There we go. This is top gameplay right here. Like honestly. Beats the hell out of sitting in a room. Without <laughs> Printing <me. laughs> sitting in a room not printing flyers. <laughs> yeah. And posters and menus. Hell yeah. Almost. Oh boy, that noise. It's fine. It's oh, there we go. Here come the menus. So first things first, this black bear here. Yeah. That is clearly the one that was eating your pizzas and getting jammed at the beginning of the game. Okay. That's that's what that is. All. That's the one that was making making it so the kids wouldn't eat the pizzas. Yeah. That's the one. Can Unclo you? Unclog toilets from a computer. Well, I wish I could unclog my toilets via computer. That'd be a lot easier. <laughs> well, what? Where are we that they have dial-up internet? However, they can clean the ovens, replace the light bulbs, and unclog the toilets from a terminal. Twenty seventeen. I guess so. This is this is what happened uh, after. They got rid of the net neutrality. Oh, yeah. It's true. See, we have the dial-up internet, but we could still do cool stuff with it, but with our dial-up internet. Right. This is if you don't buy, like, the, the packages to get all the cool stuff. Like, we don't have the, uh, we don't have the social media package on this, because that's $300 a month. Yeah. So we can't go on, like, Facebook or anything on this, but we can still print flyers. So look, that's you can you can get those other packages. So I'm thinking, handyman. Yeah. So. That's nine hundred dollars. You oh. have ninety. I thought they said like that's just pesky pocket change. For everything cover. else except for upgrading equipment. Oh, well, they suck. Then let's go home. There you Good go. Job. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Now let's look just that. focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday. And you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. Who was the person who planned a party for a place that just opened? And has a trash can. completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. There is another okay. aspect to your end-of-day routine. And that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often. And while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much-needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside. But then... You get no money Seems for reasonable. The yeah. You choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death. Should of course. The item in question oh, not be yeah. as docile as it first appeared. Yeah. This, if this you is do decide to try to salvage it, then you must very complete docile. the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are okay. unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete hmm. the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. Okay, so... I'll definitely keep them. See down there in the corner, it's 500 bucks if you salvage it. Oh. So what happens here is you can throw it back in the alley. You don't get paid. However, you get paid for the for your for your day cuz you know, you had people at your restaurant today and you had all that stuff going on. So you get paid. All right. And there's no risk. Well, obviously, 
because you don't you don't run a risk when you have trash can Pete and yeah Tater Todd Todd Tater Todd Todd and Trash Can Pete they do not no risk they are the most loyal animatronics you can have right however if you proceed with the salvage you have to run a test so like how you ran the test on Circus Baby in the beginning yeah you get a taser. You have three tases. You can shock him if you feel like he's getting a little too close for comfort. However, after the third shock, if you need to shock him again, uh, it damages him, and the salvage value goes down. However, if you proceed with salvage, and you fail, and he attacks you, he's loose in your restaurant. And well, so at nighttime, when you're or when you're during the day, when you're trying to print out flyers, you got this asshole to worry about. Can I just like throw them out later? Well, if you proceed with salvage, you scrap them. Oh. And then you get money for them. Oh. You just have to finish the test. All right. Let's proceed with salvage. You have chosen right. to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Remember. Use your company-issued taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel it is, that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. What is that? Control to shock him? You can only use it three Ooh. times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease it its value. All right. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Honestly, I wouldn't like no. that noise either. Begin he moved. Oh, he did? Three, you don't, 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 don't. Shock him. Okay, he went back to his state. Um, you have to press play on the recorder again. I don't know what it says it is. Uh, results no no okay he did get closer again don't just keep an eye on him one this is unnerving results no yeah he didn't do nothing but shock him after this yeah he's close fuck that guy what a turd Okay, space. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. And you get you get one more shock after this. Document results. Yeah. Okay. Document results. Stay no. In audio prompt in three. I don't think you moved at all. One. Yeah. I don't want him to move. Stay put. Yeah. This is a long one. I just tase him now. No, because it will stop the audio. Document results. No, no movement. I don't trust like you. Have completed the maintenance checklist See, look. And may proceed with the salvage. But we salvaged well him. He's all. He's dead. Sorry, buddy. You just got scrapped. Well, you just died, that so. was that was the voice of uh, that was Fredbear. Oh, the fun time Fredbear. Look there. No lawsuits, and you got a total of eight hundred sixty-nine dollars today. Well, hell. All right, we're on Tuesday. Hell yeah. So you got nine hundred fifty-nine bucks to spend. Oh look, it's been marked down. Um, uh, liability risk. Hold on. So the item condition is very poor. But we can get fruity maze. Just uh see the problem purchasing purchasing a bulky item in this condition comes with a moderate risk that something undesirable is hiding inside. And I don't I don't Can like, we, like that. chase it out. I don't I feel like hey, that's up to you. 
it's 42 bucks so but there is a liability and you have to be careful if you don't want to get lawsuits uh, you could buy a new stage let's see about that oh look stage for two mid-sized robots well what are these mid-sized mid-sized mid mid now you can go out there and see if oh, like yeah. <laughs> we can get the candy cadet Thinking about That's it. some bonus revenue and entertainment right there. Boom. We got him. Alright. So. I don't know. I sort of like trash can pit and. We'll keep them. Maybe. I wonder. I bet they can stay on the stage. Even if I get this? I would imagine. I don't know. It's up to you. It says oh, it's for wait, two. No. I thought like you meant like if I got like some other creatures, but yeah. I mean, you can keep Trash Can Pete and the other guy. This is a pretty rustic place. Yeah. So I mean, they're good. Yeah. Is there any like speakers or anything like in the front that you want to buy? Well, just gumball swivel hands, of course, and that gives you some revenue. I don't trust that. I oh. mean, there is no liability. It's yeah, just but... gumball swivel hands. That's that's on you. Mm. I don't want to get this. You do? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's there you go. Let's put it down. Okay. Yeah, I think you have enough money to upgrade too if you wanted a bigger place. Oh. And you got oh. two spots. Let's get put candy cadet. And yeah, he will protect them actually. Okay. He won't let anything happen. Go you know, check. And clean and polish them. Yeah. Oh, if you just... Oh, you can add some safety straps. I think that takes down some liability. Yeah. Hey, minus one to risk. You clean as polish it. It's good as new. Oh, look, you have another sponsorship offer. Ooh, let's check it out. Marty's Plungers. Nothing goes down that can't come up. Marty's Plungers is offering you to pay advertising and... 500 bucks. But I gotta pay them that? No, you get 500 oh. bucks, but then, like, the ads pop up on your computer and stuff like that. Like, you have to advertise for them. Yeah. All right, look there. On your tables. Well, there we go. So now you have 500 more bucks to, to buy whatever you want. Now, the more you buy, the more stuff you unlock. Like, you'll get more stuff. So, like, you might even be able to get a bigger stage and put all the, the friendship pals up there. Hmm. Get some speakers or something, you know? Like, that's some good atmosphere. Yeah, that's, I mean, I like these. There you go. So That was a atmosphere right there, too. That's good. Cool. What about the fan? You can get the fan. Is that in the... F that's at the top there. There it is. Let's get it. Awesome. Let's see what's up here. Wait. Yeah. I think that stuff puts itself out there. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at these speakers. Trash can Pete and Buckethead. Yeah. That, that's. <laughs> what, are they, what do you think they're singing? Probably. Uh, trash can noises and bucket noises. Pro it's like it's probably like stomp up there. Yeah. Like it's just a lot of people smashing metal together and slamming on the ground. And calling it good. Yeah. Now you can play with your faz tokens still. I was thinking immediately playing. I am a candy cadet. Come get your candy here. I have candy all day, every day. Candy, candy, candy. <laughs> well, all right. Get some delicious candy. Return to cadet again. And maybe I will tell you a story. I want to hear the story. We'll return to Candy Cadet and he'll tell you a story. Alright. Let's hear it. I am a Candy Cadet. Come get your candy here. I have candy all day. Every day. Candy. 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 Okay. Alright. I'm gonna wait. Okay. You wait until he's uh, a certain color, 
And everybody knows that blue is a good color, so. Like, wait till his hand. Now I will tell uh -huh. you a story about a young woman who was sealed in a small room. In the room was a furnace and five keys. She was told that each of the five keys would unlock one of five doors outside her room. Inside each room was a child that she could take with her as she fled the building. But she was only allowed to leave her own room with one key, not all five. Desperate to find a way to save all five children, the woman melted the five keys together in the furnace to create a single key, hoping it would unlock all five doors. Of course, it did not work that way. Now her key opens none of the doors. Rather than leaving her room with a key to one life, she had taken with her the key to five deaths. Hmm. <laughs> well, all right. Great story, Candy Cadet. Thanks. Thanks. Wow. We just got a lot of points for that. You have over a thousand dollars. That's because I always know when to press the right color. Okay. That's how you do it. So, do you want to get some more upgrades? I'm sure you could. I'm thinking... Maybe like a new stage? I don't think it's going to take them off. I think they no, stay on the stage. Yeah, I don't think so either. I'm just... I don't think they can, they can take away your... Buckethead Pete. They're just rustic cretins. So obviously we're gonna get this. Oh, smiles and servos. Here we go. Oh. The deluxe concert stage. I bet you you can put all four of your fun time pals up there. Best crate and the the vacuum cleaner. Oh my. That's, That's a deal. <laughs> that is. I think we need to go back. Just go back. Oh, there they are. This. That's what we need. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You gotta pick which one you want. Which one needs to be up on that stage? This one. There yes. we go. This is the perfect crew. I would go to see them. Oh, yeah. And look, you have just enough. You can upgrade your place even if you wanted to. How do I do that? Right down there. See, upgrade right oh, there. Yeah. 250. Boom. Now you got a bigger place. And you got all your friends up there on the screen. You're gonna put more games down. Ooh. Do I have anything in my... No, I don't. Let's play this. Okay. This is the car game. Wazda. I'm liking this music. Oh, don't hit another car. You got it. Oh! <laughs> I thought I'd be safe. Yeah. Oh. Yes. You gotta go fast. Like Sonic fast. I'm already on it. Here are 500 points. Oh boy. Yeah! There we go. Oh. Alright, I know it. He was just a wire sack of garbage right there. He sure was. Piece of shit. Yeah, I'm sure he was. Yeah, you're doing good. You got a lot of points. There's a creature coming out to attack me. Oh. What's that? Uh, There's like a hole in the game down there. Oh, 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 let's do it. Hey, you almost got like 2,000 points there. It's pretty good. 1942. Just a few years before we won World War One. Now you got a hundred more two. dollars. No, I'm not stupid. It's World War Two. World War Two. Yeah. I just said one because we won. So you got a hundred more dollars. Check check out what else we got in Smiles and Servos over there. Where is this? In your catalog. Oh okay. Oh, that's the new one we just got. Smiles. It was a Star Circus stage. Ball Pit. That's Liability Risk Three. That's Ball Pit Teddy. He's. He's good. He's a good guy, you know? Yeah. I honestly have no reason not to trust him. Your ladder tower? Oh, carnival hoops. This is oh, some pretty expensive ball. stuff. Screw that thing. And him. And There's that. a jukebox. Actually, you know what? He has a thousand bucks, though. You're you're pretty low. That's what I'm getting next. And Security that. doors. That. Well, most oh, look! It's oh. Freddy! There's, there's Rockstar Freddy. But remember, 
This will most certainly gnarl any small child's frail body if it were to... But it doesn't say there's any risk. It's health and safety. That's up to seven health and safety right there. Still. Yeah, true. I mean, anything could happen. Yeah. That's, yeah, what, we we, got Bonnie. that's what we need. Yeah, 2,000 bucks is what we're trying to save up. What else? Rockstar Chica. Oh. He has maracas. Certainly... That's just... Like, this is fine. This is fine. That's unnerving. <laughs> Wait, does Bonnie have eyebrows? No. No, good. Yeah, he's good. not supposed to have those, by the way. Now what? It has to be Foxy. I'm just waiting. I'm, I'm trying to anticipate what he's going to look like. He's going to, like, be racist or something. Oh, yeah. Look at, <laughs> you can, look at his eye, like, peering. Like, he just sees that one race that a racial minority he does not like in the back of the crowd and he's well like, he's a pirate i don't know if pirates were a fan of other people pirates were not they were they were not good they were <laughs> but that's why we got to get him so i mean that, he might still have some he's got andy the bird on his shoulder well i say we try saving up some money in the next episode because mm. we're running a little I see so that means we play Duck Pond one last time we, we will play one more game of Duck Pond and we'll end it well I was the one about to ask why Cadet Candyman Ooh. so that one obviously it's always going to be this one and you know you never trust what about that duck up top there you kind of yeah I had to say, you never trust the bottom left duck, so... Look, yeah. beautiful. Bam. I knew we shouldn't have trusted him. Yeah, he's a freaking... Look at him looking at me. So we should have just got, like, about three trillion dollars there. There it was. All right. Well, uh, that was Fred Bear's Family Fun Time Pizzeria Simulator. We got the whole crew. What's, what's the name of the crew, Dan? Uh, Ted and the men. Ted and the men. <laughs> Ted and the men. And we got them all there. And we got our pizzeria going. It's looking pretty good so far. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you in the next episode. Heck yeah.